प्रधानमंत्री जी से निवेदन है कि वे एस्ट्रोनॉट डेजिग्नेट्स को विंग्स प्रदान करें ग्रुप कैप्टन प्रशांत बालकृष्णन नायर ग्रुप कैप्टन अजित कृष्णन ग्रुप कैप्टन अंगद प्रताप विंग कमांडर शुभांशु शुक्ला अब से कुछ देर पहले देश पहली बार अपने चार गगनयान यात्रियों से परिचित हुआ ये सिर्फ चार नाम और चार इंसान नहीं है ये 140 करोड़ एस्पिरेशंस को स्पेस में ले जाने वाली चार शक्तियां हैं चालीस वर्ष के बाद कोई भारतीय अंतरिक्ष में जाने वाला है लेकिन इस बार टाइम भी हमारा है काउंट डाउन भी हमारा है और रॉकेट भी हमारा है ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ केरला श्री आरिफ मोहम्मद खान जी most respected chief minister of kerala shri pinarayi vijayan ji most respected minister of state for government of india shri v murali tharan ji all the invited guests industry captains representatives of space startups all my dear colleagues from isro in space and nsil and department of space my heartiest welcome to vikram sarabhai space center isro which is the birthplace of rockets and the mother center of the space technology This is a golden letter day for the entire ISRO, having our Prime Minister in our midst, giving an ISRO center and uh, facilities to take a review of the progress of Gaganyan for VSS. It's also a historic event, the very first ever visit of our Prom Honorable Prime Minister to this center after <laughs> almost 40 years. The significance when PM is dedicating to the nation three of the important major projects of ISRO, which was approved a few years back and completed on time and cost. but for the some difficulty that we faced during the covid times the psl integration facility the semi grave integration testing facility the trisonic wind tunnel mark significant additions to the infrastructure of isro which will happen in enhancing the launches support new developments for the entire space sector we have seen tremendous progress and accomplishment by isro in the last 10 years in terms of the missions accomplished programs launched and also the uh, chandrayaan 3 and aditya l1 that made the world look india with great respect with the vision and support of our honorable prime minister the space sector is going through rapid transformation for expansion unlocking the space sector the new space policy of 2023 the fdi policy enabling the regulating the ngs in all domains of space activities through in space the long term space vision for the amritkal has already been announced by our honorable prime minister the vision is created for accomplishing the vikasit bharat with space sector as a torch bearer the vision in addition to rapid expansion of space economy to have scientific accomplishments such as long term human space missions building bharati antarikshya station continued exploration of moon and other planets and also to have an indian on the moon by 2040 we in isro wish to assure you sir that we will do our best in bringing the best in our technological industrial entrepreneurial and academic capabilities in india to achieve the leadership in space domain and make bharat achieve its status during its journey to vikas of the nation let me take this opportunity to heart, heartily welcome all our honorable prime minister once again to vikram sir of his space center and thank him for the time spent here i also wish to fondly welcome our honorable governor of kerala shri arif mohammad khan ji i heartily welcome the most respected chief minister of kerala shri pinarayi vijayan ji i heartily welcome the most respected minister of state shri vimrali dharan ji I also welcome all of you distinguished invitees and my dear colleagues to witness the historic occasion and to listen to the words of our 
dear prime minister thank you jai hind thank you thank you sir